Hello guys and welcome back, hope you are well. Let's check out this uh, Citizen Bullhead in this uh, video today. So this watch is a reissue uh, of the original Bullhead from the 1970s. Retail price in Australia is $399. I managed to get 50% discount of the retail price, so I paid $199 for this watch. I'm quite happy with the 50% discount that I managed to score uh, on this watch. There, there is a white dial version as well, and that was selling for uh, $299 when I bought this watch. I just couldn't convince myself to pay an extra $100 uh, for the same watch and decided to go for this blue dial uh, option. And in all honesty, I do like this uh, blue dial as well. A couple of disappointments that I'll share with you guys in this video, uh, but let's kick it off with the dimensions first. So the case size on this watch is 38 uh, millimeters across. So it does stay true to its original counterpart from the 1970s. Lactolug -lug distance is 41.5 millimeters. So this case is really, really compact. Great news for people with small size wrists. I think it will be too small for larger wrists. I've got a 7 inch wrist, so I fall somewhere in the middle with my average size wrist. Um, it is a bit borderline for me, but I think it's not too small for me to ignore uh, this watch. I'll give you a wrist shot a bit later on in the video anyway. Case thickness uh, is 12 millimeters and lug width is 18 uh, millimeters on this watch. First disappointment, we only get a mineral crystal on this watch and not a sapphire crystal. It is a domed mineral crystal as you can see. In my opinion, Citizen should have chosen to go for a, um, a sapphire crystal and not a mineral crystal on this watch. The finishing on the case is really nice though. Uh, this is a stainless steel case, brushed along the sides and brushed on the top as well. Considering the price, the finishing, uh, the quality of the finishing is, is nice, so uh, no complaints uh, there at all. We have a high polished fixed black bezel on this one. Two pushes on the top at 11 and one o'clock. The one in, in the middle is your uh, crown. The big orange, orange hand that you're looking at uh, is your uh, chrono hand. How to use it? Push the left hand side pusher to start it. It ticks one second at a time. Unfortunately on my watch, it doesn't hit any of those minute markers. Push the left hand side pusher again to stop it. Another push to restart it. Push the right hand side pusher to reset it and it will bring it back to uh, its original position at 12 o'clock. Now if you look closely enough, my chrono hand is not properly centered. It is tilting a bit on the right or to the right. Uh, I'm not sure if it's uh, quality control or a known issue uh, with, this, uh, with this watch, but on this one it's not properly uh, centered unfortunately. Applied markers all around. Applied Citizen underneath 12 o'clock, chronograph is printed, three sub-dials at 3, 6 and 9 o'clock. 3 o'clock is your uh, seconds hand, you can see that uh, ticking away. At 9 o'clock is your minute to an hour counter, at 6 o'clock is your uh, 12 hour timer. Quartz WR50 printed just between the uh, 7 and 8 o'clock uh, indices. That's my second disappointment with this watch, the, uh, the Quartz. Uh, movement. Uh, so they, they didn't chose to go for uh, a cheap quartz movement in this one, even though the original had had an automatic uh, movement in the 1970s. So they kept the the size um, original, um, but decided to uh, swap the uh, or cheap out on the uh, on the movement in this one. I have no idea why they didn't choose to go for uh, for an automatic movement. I've seen plenty of citizen watches in this price range, around $400 that have automatic movements in them. But in this scenario, a cheap quartz movement, not even a high frequency quartz movement, a basic uh, quartz movement uh, with, this, uh, with this watch, unfortunately. Date complication, and uh, just before the uh, five o'clock uh, index, you can see there, it does sit fairly deep uh, in, the, uh, in the dial, as you can see, even those uh, three sub dials are slightly recessed into the, uh, into the dial. Uh, so that's the uh, that's a dial for you guys. Um, it is really nicely laid out. No complaints there, apart from uh, the ones that I've mentioned uh, already. We do have uh, loom on this watch as well. There is loom on those indices and on the minute and the hour hand as well. Let me just turn the lights off so we can do a quick loom check. The quality of the loom, I've got no complaints about. Uh, for a watch like this, this watch has a uh, a decent. Uh, loom, the quality is nice, the brightness is there, the strength is there, 
it does light up straight away. You can definitely see all the indices uh, in the dark. You can see the uh, the loom on the minute and the uh, hour hand as well. So from the loom point of view, I've got no complaints with the uh, with the quality of the uh, of the loom on this watch, and especially uh, for a watch like this, this is not a driver's watch. Uh, the Citizen has uh, has done a decent job uh, with the uh, with the loom. So that's the uh, that's the loom for you guys. Let me turn the lights back on again. So. Um, we can carry on with the rest of our review. Now, coming to the um, uh, to the bracelet on this one, it is um, a basic uh, pressed uh, bracelet. Finishing is really nice though. It is uh, uh, very nicely finished. This brushed finish uh, follows through from the case uh, to this bracelet as well, and it has this easy adjust uh, mechanism on it that you will see on uh, a lot of uh, mesh uh, bracelets. Just uh, uh, pull this uh, bit up and you'll be able to slide this up and down to uh, find a nice fit uh, for uh, for your wrist but this does pull some hair as well now if you like to wear your watch a bit loose you will definitely uh, realize that this uh, that this uh, bracelet will pull some hair if you um, if you wear it tight then you'll be fine I like to wear uh, my watch is um, a little bit tighter on the wrist so I haven't felt that but when I lose it up a little bit it does definitely uh, pull some hair and it is really really thin as well as you can see the whole watch weighs 99 grams and most of that weight comes from this uh, case and there's barely any weight on this uh, on this stainless steel bracelet hollow end links as well so this watch comes with 18 millimeter lug width so that's um, that's definitely a bonus that you can find a lot of options out there um, when it comes down to straps or uh, stainless steel bracelet whatever you like you'll be able to find uh, something that you like that will fit this watch to keep the retro uh, look going. Let's have a quick look at the case back as well. Uh, again, really basic. Uh, you got some information there. Stainless steel uh, case back, WR50 water resistance of 50 meters. Uh, Japan movement, quartz movement in this. Uh, assembled in China. The sticker is still uh, there, and I think it says uh, stainless steel here. Yep, stainless steel there. So that's the uh, that's the case back for you. Nothing special. Fairly basic there um, overall the layout is nice it's a nice watch I think uh, in my opinion this is a half-hearted attempt from citizen uh, in reissuing this iconic uh, watch they could have done better um, at least uh, with the uh, with the glass and the movement in this watch if they didn't want to give this watch an automatic movement at least they could have opted to go for a high frequency uh, quartz movement uh, in this watch but they cheaped out and uh, decided to go for a uh, for an inexpensive for an inexpensive uh, quartz movement uh, in this watch. So, um, so that's the watch for you guys. Let me uh, give you a quick uh, wrist shot. Uh, as I said earlier, I've got a, uh, a seven-inch uh, wrist. I'll show you how it looks on um, on my wrist to uh, to give you an idea. So, uh, here we go. So, I don't think it looks too small. Uh, to be honest with you, it does uh, look uh, decent enough on my 7-inch wrist. I think people with larger wrists uh, will find this watch uh, to be a bit too small. Uh, small wrists will love the uh, the size and uh, I'm kind of, as I said, I'm kind of in the middle and um, it's not too, too bad. And that's the bracelet for you. The quality, the finishing is really, really nice. Don't get me wrong uh, the um, uh, on, on this bracelet, uh, but it's it's just way too thin. Uh, and um, it does feel a bit cheap uh, on the uh, on the wrist as well. Um, so that's a watch for you guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you with my next video shortly. Until then, stay safe and look after one another. Thank you again.